Hey everybody, how's it going? A uh, video today on, it's a phone mount or a camera mount for, for my car. Um, <clears throat> what I've been doing is I'm trying to record videos, of driving videos. Uh, the problem is I've been using my phone to record the videos and it doesn't have image stabilization. So the vibration of the car just makes the videos kind of jerky and not very fun to watch. So what I've done is I used to shoot all my videos in one of these, a Canon Sure Shot. I'm not sure which one this one is. Power Shot A710IS. It's nothing special. It's only 7.1 megapixels. Um, it shoots decent video. Good enough for YouTube, for me anyway. I'm not, you know, Spielberg here. We're not making the great movie. So this has good image stabilization, but what I need is a way to mount this on my car. Most phone mounts, you know, they, they grab like that or they grab like this. This is awkward. You can't get it because the back edges are rounded, so it's tough to grab. I've got various tripods, like I got this thing that I've had for a while. You can hold it by hand or this is a very useful tripod. There's nothing wrong with it. It sets down like that and you can push those red things in and adjust the angle of the camera. This is a great tripod, but it's not good for what I need. I thought I could mount this to the dash somehow, but I don't want to put any holes in the dash or anything like that. I've got a, a gyro. There's just no way to mount this in the car um, without like, like I don't, I'm not going to wrap duct tape and tape this to the roll bar or something. I don't want anything goofy. So what I did was I found this. This is heavy duty super solo suction cup mount, Fantaseal Hercules. Mounts DSLR cameras, action cam, smartphone. So it does have the clamp phones, but it also has this screw in bit for the for the uh, regular camera tripod mount hole right there, that little guy there. So let's open this up and see see how she be. It's very well packaged. Nice foam, comes with a little cleaning cloth, some rubber bands. What is this? Ah, piece has fallen out. There's that. Let's see. Jeez, it's not very well packaged. Little screws loose. The uh, packaging itself is nice, but the, the way they put it in here is terrible. That's the phone mount. I won't be using that. Okay, so this should just pull out of there. Thought something else fell in here, but maybe not. Nope, I guess that's it. All right, so this is your suction cup mount. This will attach to that somehow. Oh, I see. So these are just... Just can go like that. So it comes in two pieces basically. So let's take this screw. I'm not sure which end I need. Um, doesn't matter, these these rotate, so this is gonna be mounted to there. So yeah, let's put it in that one. Do, do, do. All right, let's get that tightened in there. Okay, so this will be mounted to the windshield. It's about that angle. You want the camera upright. So turn that like that. This should work perfectly. Let's snug that up a little bit for now. So these, these that I'm tightening here, they they prevent. See see that pivots on the top, like that, or that, and you can lock it in place. And the same down in the bottom here with that. Same with this. It, it's very adjustable. Let's tighten that up. Let's stick the camera on here. I think this is going to work very well. Now this will be how it mounts like that. This was uh, 20 bucks, 21 bucks or something. I'll put a link. That's perfect. So yeah, that'll be, this will be the windshield. It'll be stuck there. I can adjust it. I can see 
in the view window. Um, it does come with a mount for a GoPro that you can attach to the where the camera like a, has a camera mount on it. So you can adjust that instead of the camera there and mount your GoPro on, on here. Um, or this, again, has a camera shoe on it, whatever. And you can mount that there and hold your phone. Um, I'm assuming this is... Yeah, spans fairly large. It should mount most smartphones. So I'm going to pause here. Well, you guys won't see the pause. I'm going to go set up over by the car and see how I'll set it up so you guys can see. All right, hold on. All right, folks, here I am behind the seat of the Miata, my new steering wheel. Nice. Like the red stitching matches the, the shift boot I got, the shift knob, the, yeah, the parking brake boot. Um, also, if you look, you can see I have... 415,837 kilometers on this thing. Uh, it's been rebuilt, though. Um, so here's a previous mount I had. This clips up here, goes on behind the mirror, grabs on like that, and then you can mount your phone there. It works well for a phone, um, but again, it's a little shaky, especially, I don't know if you guys can hear that. Like, it's not all that tight fitting tolerances in here there's a lot of wiggle in this so it shakes a lot and the iphone has no image stabilization at all it's absolute crap for that so here's the new one i've got the camera mounted to it and the kind of view i'd like to get would be about kind of like that i want it a little bit from the passenger side you know just in case someday i do have a passenger who knows someday i might find someone that'll go riding in my car um and they can film whatever i don't know it's also in case so no idiots here oh, you shouldn't be filming while you're driving yeah i lost my light i can say no it's passenger so anyway plausible denial is that what they call it so i'm going to set you guys up on the seat here so you can see what i'm doing i just want to show you where i was putting it and and sort of how i've kind of got the camera the the angles figured out a little bit i think i won't know until i got it up there so let's find out be interesting to see how well this huge suction cup sticks Huge, huge. Um, let's see. Let me see how I can set you guys up here. Let's see. Okay. I'm gonna have to stop. I'll set this up. We'll be right, All right folks. I've got you sitting on the passenger seat, looking up. So you're, kind of, you're not seeing directly out, but you're seeing. You know, this is the mirror up here, windshield. So. Let's see how we get this here. Right about there is where I'd like it. I'm uh, feeling that suction cup's going to be pretty pretty stuck there pretty well. I'll turn on the camera. Let's see what we see. Almost perfect. Let's move that out of the way so we can see the view. I kind of want it hidden behind the mirror so it's not really in my way. Um, Little fine adjustments and it should be good. So let's see. <laughs> Take you off here again. All right, folks, I took you off the tripod there. So there's the camera mounted up there. You'll see it's you know when I'm driving, it'll be behind the da behind the mirror. So it's really not in the way at all. I'm totally open in my field of vision. It's no different than if I had an air freshener hanging from the mirror or something like that. So there you go. I'll, I'll lose the little wrist tether. But if I turn it on, let me see if I can show you guys the view that it has. Let's see if the camera will pick it up. Where's the button? Oh, come on. All right, there we go. So there you go. You guys can see. The only thing I had to do is adjust it so I lose this little bit of the suction cup in the video. But that should work pretty well. It's easy enough for me to get to. Turn on and off. I'll get out in a minute and see how it looks. This is really solid on there. That suction cup is huge. That isn't going anywhere. This isn't going to shake a whole lot. Tighten all these down. All these wing nut dealies. And I think that'll be good. Let's get out and take a look and see what it looks like from the outside, from the front. Turn off our little light here. 
Also notice my nice Miata hat. Miata NA, made in Japan, Mazda Motor Corporation. So when you're cruising around with the top down and you have hair that gets all messy, you can just throw that on. So let's get out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Headlights are up. That's another thing. The headlights stopped working. I know the fix to that, though. That's oh, not too bad. It doesn't look bad at all. I can deal with that. Wish it was black. A black camera would be nice. Maybe I'll paint it. Who knows? It'll be less noticeable without that tether, too. But this isn't going to be like a driving around all the time. This is just when I want to do videos. So there you have it, folks. The other Miata, the stock Miata. I just polished and waxed it all after being tarped up all winter. Looks pretty good, eh? It's nicer than mine. It's my wife's. It's cleaned up real nice. I did the windows on both of them. Um, it makes a world of difference. Spray them all with glass cleaner, take a fresh razor blade, scrape them all every inch, every little bit of the window, spray it more with more window cleaner, wipe it down, do that. Do that to all of them inside and out, and then give them one final wipe with a clean clean uh, paper towel and just a light spritz of window cleaner. World of difference. I did that to this one first, and I went for a drive at night. And I tell you, made me enjoy night driving again. So this one should be the same. This one is a glass back window and it's got some rub marks on it. Let's see if I can buff those out somehow. Um, fortunate, unfortunately, mine just has the uh, plastic window, which is kind of required because I've got a roll bar in it with the, the cross brace. And if that, a glass window wouldn't fit in there. That one has no roll bar, although I do have a roll bar to put in it, but not yet. And it'll work. It's just a single hoop roll, roll bar with no diagonal bar. So it'll be fine in that one. There you go. Put up this little bollard so you know when to stop when you're driving in to get on the lift. Um, I'm pretty good at it, but I put it here for my wife mostly. Because you got to drive on these little ramps because the Miata is too low for the, the lift. So that's about it. I've got nothing else new to show you. Again, so here's the uh, product. Fantaseal Heavy Duty Super Solo Suction Cup Mount Hercules. I like it so far. It's 20 bucks for what you pay. I'm not sure what the elastic bands are for. It's probably an alternative alternative way of mounting things. Who knows? It looks good, eh? Two Miata Garage. I need a third. I want a black one. But I don't don't have any room for any more vehicles. As it is, I think this summer I'm gonna get a pile of mini bikes over there. I've got three or four of them. Get rid of those. Might keep one. Scooters, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with. Might keep them, might sell them. Uh, got two scooters, one for me, one for the wife. She doesn't like to ride anymore, so I don't like riding by myself either really much. So I'll probably just sell those, maybe get us a couple electric bicycles, something like that. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm just rambling now. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Always appreciate that. Um, yeah, if I can answer them, I will. So thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. See you later. Have a great day.